Our dear Kathleen asks, Dear Holy Rabbi, my question is this. Can a Noahide or the Umot Olam keep a non-Jewish Shabbos? So the answer on that, halachically, no. They have to break Shabbos. They have to violate some halacha. But because it's written that the person that is not commanded to keep Shabbos, if he's keeping Shabbos, is chayav mita. He needs to be punished, has shalom, in a horrible punish of death on that. And not because that we don't want him to keep Shabbos. We do want him to keep Shabbos, but we don't want him to claim that he's worthy, that he is in that level that he can keep Shabbos. Shabbos is a very important gift that we, Am Yisrael, received from the Creator to keep. And we also not worthy, but we received it from him, so we're obligated to keep it. The other nation, the foreign nations, they're not holding in that place. And if they want to be part of Am Yisrael, they need to go through a conversion process. And, they, and then they become to be not only exactly like us, even better than us. On Am Yisrael, it's written five, in five ways that the Creator, He loves us. And on the converts, there is a special one. He loves them in six ways. So it means that their level is higher than us. Because your level is depends on how much the Creator, He loves you. Because He is purifying you, He is helping you, He is lifting you, He is upgrading you. So if He loves you more, so He's going to give you more. So the reason that the converts now, um, before they, I mean, Benach, Noach, before they converted, um, they're not allowed to keep Shabbos. It's only because they need to accept on themselves that uh, simple understanding that it might be a little bit humiliating, but that's the purpose of our life, to be humble, that they are not part of Am Yisrael yet. They are children of the Creator, the Creator, He loves them, He gives them a lot of things, but they're not part of Am Yisrael, and they need to understand it. If now a person, an Anju, is claiming that he believes in God, in one God in heaven, and he believes in the unity of that God, and he doesn't have no questions, and he believes that, that everything is one, and, and that you need to be good, and whatever. But he doesn't believe in that concept of Hashem Elokei Israel Melech, that God chose the holy nation of Israel, and he's the king of that nation. If he's not accepting that on himself, all of his faith count as foreign faith, not real faith. The real faith is only when you accept on yourself that God chose Am Israel as a chosen nation and they have a certain priority, they have some privilege that other nations don't have. If you're Jew, you need to believe in that. And if you're a non-Jew, you need to believe in that also. So that's the reason why Jew, not, people that are not Jews, they're not allowed to keep Shabbos. It doesn't mean that they're not allowed to keep a lot of their Shabbos. They allow to enjoy Shabbos and to keep all of the to all of the halachot and the meals and everything. They just need to do something small like turning on and off one time the light in Shabbos or, or lit a candle or, or a, a match or something like that. We need to break Shabbos. To remind ourselves we're not yet Jews. We don't have that privilege yet, yet to, to keep Shabbos, to receive the Shabbos. That's it. Um, that's it. It's very good. It's very good. The purpose is to be humble, to crown Hashem Barach on ourselves. And uh, it doesn't matter where you are and in which level you're holding and, and what's your deg degree and, and, and what's your position. The question is how humble you are and how much you're crowning Hashem Barach on yourself and how much you want to serve Him and to commit yourself to Him. And in that, your level is, uh, it, it depends. When Yitro decided to commit himself to the Creator and to convert, the fact that before of that he was worshipping all kinds of idols and he was a, a wizard and he was doing weird things in his life, didn't ruin nothing for him. Because in that moment that he admitted and he said, I was wrong. And from that day on, I want to convert. I want to fix myself. I want to purify myself. 
it's all become to be like a, 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 a reward for him. It was his merit, it was his schut, it was his privilege, the fact that he was so strong to change his way. So, Adraba, and he got that married to be the father-in-law of, of Moshe Rabbeinu. It's a huge schut that his grandchildren will be the children of Moshe Rabbeinu. It's a huge merit, a huge merit. So, uh, everyone corresponding to the point of truth and humility that he's got in his heart, that's how much he's going to achieve closeness to the Creator and will be purified from all kinds of contaminations.